Welcome. Today's reading is entitled, Let Me Get This Straight. In ancient times, builders used plumb lines to establish straight vertical lines to build walls. That was their standard, the usual way to build buildings. If builders didn't use plumb lines, they risked building crooked structures. Today, builders use laser plumb lines. Before Jesus came to earth, God showed the prophet Amos a plumb line to illustrate that Israel had gone astray. They were crooked, so to speak, in that they were not true and straight in their devotion to God. They worshipped false gods and didn't obey God's word. God punished Israel for their disobedience. Being punished by God is a terrifying thought. We must understand that disobedience to God is a serious matter. Thankfully, we have a merciful God. At the end of the book of Amos, God promised a future kingdom where his people would be restored. Today, that promise is fulfilled in Jesus. Those who trust in him are part of that kingdom. Jesus came to earth to take the punishment we deserve for sinning against our holy God. Yet, even when we ask God to forgive our sins and be our Savior and forever friend, if we try to live our lives apart from God's word, our lives will be crooked. However, when we allow God's word to be our standard, our plumb line, we will live lives that are straight, true, and pleasing to God. Today's scripture reading is from Amos 7, 7 through 8, and 9, 8. The Lord was standing by a wall that had been built true to plumb, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord asked Amos, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, he replied. Then the Lord said, Look, I am setting a plumb line among my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. And moving now to Amos 9, 8. My eyes have seen what a sinful nation you are, and I will wipe you out. But I will leave a few of Jacob's descendants. I, the Lord, have spoken. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we know that we put many things ahead of you. Our devotion to you is crooked. We do not measure up. Thank you for dying on the cross to forgive our sins. Thank you for rising from the dead to give us eternal life. Help us to live lives that are straight and true to your word. Help us also to love other people and tell them about your love and forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. I'm Sarah Keith, and today's devotional was provided by SundaySchoolNetwork.com.